Hey, what is up, guys? Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile. Today, I got some Battle Royale action for you. It's a pretty good game that happened yesterday. It's the game that got me to Master 5 on my road to Legendary before the end of the season. So, some tips on Battle Royale today. Uh, when you land at the start, try to not go directly in the lane of the, the plane because a lot of players will be there at the start. So, you might want to go far and on the sides. And of course, you always get these randoms, guys. The, the randoms will just jump without the jump leader and will go their own way. Well, these are the guys that will usually die very, very early in the game. And they want to they want you to revive them. And look at that, the glitch here. I'm going straight to the houses and I will be teleported into the water right there. What the hell? I mean, seriously, did I get disconnected or something? I have no idea. But the game was running super smooth and it happened just like that. All of a sudden I was in the water and all the way from the plane to the landing, I was with my buddy Gold Lion, the green player, and he was with me. And then I landed and he's not with me. He's like not even close. So yeah, like rough start of the game, really weird. But yeah, once again, the randoms not jumping with us and the glitch that landed me in the water. So pretty rough start. But once again, like if you're not the jump leader, I really suggest you just wait and, and follow the jump leader. Right? Even if you don't like the spot, it's not the first time I say that, by the way. But if you don't like where he's going, at least you're still in a squad. Unless you're Rambo or you're super good at the game and you think you can just beat the game alone. But it was on the weekend. And honestly, guys, I see a lot more real players now. When I play on Saturdays and Sundays, it's it's a lot of real players. I of course you'll see some butts at the start of the game when you land away from the action and you just start looting. Well, yeah, you'll kill one or two butts here, one or two butts there. But when you get to the top 25 players, there's going to be 10 plus real players. And some games are really crazy. And once again, it is ranked and you don't want to die early because you're going to actually lose points. So I'm gonna skip this part, but yeah, I did loot on my end, and my buddy Gold Lion also was looting, uh, I think, in Nuketown. But like, yeah, I just got a, a few kills at the start. It's not a high-scoring game, by the way, but rank battle royale is not about getting tons of kills for real. It's about it's all about the placement. You want to finish in the top five teams, and until people kill each other and eliminate themselves, you're just trying to stay low profile if you want and just loot and go to strategic locations and stay alive it's all about stay alive and even sometimes i will run away from the big fights when i know there's a bunch of real players fighting i will just relocate and wait because yeah i want the points i want to get legendary rank in the least possible amount of games so anyways the zone was collapsing now and I was done looting and my buddy Gold Lion decided to rejoin me and I was also going for him. I said, might as well regroup. We don't use voice chat, but we understand each other pretty good. So um, what my plan here was take a vehicle and go back to Nuketown. Because I know in Nuketown, there will be the chip terminal and also a helicopter most of the time. So I decided to go straight to Nuketown. So we were running short on time, 20 seconds before the next save zone, but it was enough. I mean, the gas is not going to hurt you too much at the start of the game. So yeah, we went straight to Nuketown, chip terminal. And that's also another tip that Descendant told me a while ago. Is early game in Battle Royale, you want to try to upgrade your skill. And oh, this is my favorite weapon in the game, by the way, in Battle Royale now. The Bi-15 shotgun is my number one go-to weapon. I love this thing. It's so deadly at short range. And also it's beautiful. It's the tropical skin I'm using. So yeah, second reason why I went to Nuketown. First was the chip terminal. You go upgrade your skill and then you're good for the rest of the game. But then I know there's always a helicopter in, Nuke in Nuketown. In this game, guys, it seems like the vehicle are not randomly spawned at the start of the games. It really seems like the helicopters are always at the same place when you start the game. So it's a, I don't know if you call it static spawn, but every time I play, there's always a helicopter here in Newtown. There's always helicopters at the docks. Uh, there's always a helicopter in Sakura. 
the firing range or the practice range. Like there's a, a couple spots I know every time there's a helicopter. So anyways, we're good to go now. We did take a bit of damage at the start because of the gas, but we got our skills. We got decent loot, level three vest, and uh, we got a helicopter. So the plan now is just go near the edge, I guess, of the next circle and try to go on a uh, high ground. I really like to go on top of the mountains when I have helicopter for a bunch of reasons. First of all, if they come at you, you see them coming and you got high grounds. So you got the advantage in, in close fights. But also you see, you see what's going on. And while I was traveling, you see the yellow markers on the map. There was a lot going on in the middle of the map yesterday. There was a lot of stuff. Uh, you could see the silence shots, which is usually not bought. Uh, you hear the gunshots also, and sometimes you see vehicle markers. So anyways, I did, like, I'm i not the guy that will go in the middle and start fighting because I really want the, the top score. So we went on uh, top of the mountain here, edge of the map, and just chill a little bit because you got like 2 minutes and 20 before the next circle. So the strategy here is just chill for a minute or two, and you'll see a lot of people will die. A lot of players will be eliminated in these next 2 minutes. So reorganize my inventory, take that time to heal and think about where you want to go next. So now with 10 seconds left, you see only 23 players remaining. So I say it's time to move. Zone is collapsing. So we're going to move to another safe spot. And Gold Lion jumped in a helicopter. And for some reason, he jumped down and I didn't realize and I left. So going to another spot, uh, once again, looking for high elevated zones like mountains or uh, yeah top of the hill or something but yeah sometimes i will go for the airdrops the air supply because you will like if you need a better vest usually in the airdrops you'll get level three vest so if your vest is damaged and you want a brand new one uh, i really like to go for the arctic 50 uh, exotic sniper or legendary because of the thermal scope it's really good for the final circle for some reason in this game i didn't get a sniper i had a rough start and I have my shotgun, but my second weapon is the Type 25. Also, I love this drone. When someone's close to you, it's going to alert you. Uh, really, really good. And once again, dropping a few bots here and there. They will spawn the bots close to you when you change places sometimes. And at this point, I realized I forgot Gold Lion because he jumped down. And he's in the gas right now. So I said, what the hell? I thought he was with me. I was distracted. So back to the helicopter gonna go pick him up you see the blue guy is dead because random guys they don't play they don't play squad they just think they're super good and they will go alone and die but there's no way i'm gonna get the dog tags if you do this to me i mean stick with us don't expect us to to go revive you if you don't so picking up gold lion now and gonna find uh, another spot i don't know if he was going for the dog tag but Running out of time. Maybe we could have. I mean, I was not even thinking about it. And usually is when they die, they die to good players. And when we go revive them, we die because we wanted to revive them. And if it's like top five teams, maybe I'll go. But right now, we're not in the points. And I'm going to die to go revive a random guy and lose points on my rankings. So anyways, you see the silence mark silent shots markers so top 16 players now is gonna get serious so i'm already looking at the map trying to see what i want to do next and i have a good idea but you know where the last two circles will be kind of and it's gonna be in the desert ish area when you see the canyons and stuff like that and there's a helicopter here so we, we know we know there's a bunch of real players. The last 14 players is probably 10, 10 real players. And we could have stayed hidden, but we decided to start shooting. So you see some guys on the ground, plus the helicopter running around. So there's a bit of action here. Now that's another thing you can do. You can spot enemies when you see them. So your team will see the marker. Because you don't want to just try to fight everything alone. You want your whole team to know when something's going on. Deciding to shoot the helicopter here. And we're gonna get action for sure. The 
and one second left. The zone will collapse, so we have to leave. And probably there's still one or two guys on the ground, but really, just we have to go. So forget what's going on here. Top 12, including three on my team. And we're gonna go Canyon area. And then you see my, my purple teammate, he just died. And once again, he was surrounded. So again, random guys going their own way. Cannot go back and revive them because you're just going to lose a bunch of points. And if you don't lose, your dead teammate will get the points anyway. So here's is the place I decided to go. Super high elevated area and eight enemies remaining on the map, I guess. Maybe seven. Anybody possibly getting my dog tags? So the guys ask us if we can go revive him and get the dog tags. Seriously, I'm not risking like 10, 20 points to go revive a random guy that decided to go his own way he didn't stick with us from the start of the game so i said negative stay put i mean i don't want to look like a douche but stick with the team if you go alone don't expect them to come and revive you so i will leave you guys with the final circle action there's a lot going on at the end and hope you enjoyed the gameplay leave a comment below if you have some tips for me to improve in battle royale and uh, what are your favorite weapons in battle royale I will read the comments and I will be back with more. Take care, enjoy the action, see you soon. Enemy spotted. Enemy is near. The safe zone is collapsing.